Today we continue with tutorial 2 or part 2 of our 1 to many and many to one relationship in Spring Boot using Hibernate and today we are going to be setting up uh, everything we need. Uh, we are going to be setting up the application, the classes, the services, the controllers and the repositories. In case you forgot, this is what we are trying to achieve. So this is what we are going to use to set up. I'm going to be fast because uh, setting up is not actually the key point. I will get, get to the main point which is the relationship among the entities. Again, I'd like to remind you to subscribe so that you kind of motivate me. And also, if you have challenges, you let me know. So click on the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel at this point. So I'm going to start Spring Boot and then uh, I'm going to start a new application from the scratch. So if you have Spring Boot installed, you can start a new application from the scratch. So simply say file new and choose Spring Startup Project. Uh, at this point, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it, let's just call it Relay Relationship Demo. Relationship Demo. So, Relationship Demo, that is the name of the application. So, it will become the kinds and the genius. Okay, and um, let's just call it relation uh, demo project for Spring Boot. Let's call it. Let's just call it description one to to many and many to one. So we call it this. Package is com dot uh, and genius dots. Let's call it dot com dot and genius. Well, let's just say com.ktg ktg dot relationship demo. All right, so um, at this point, hopefully everything is fine. So I'm just going to click on next. So at this point, we need to choose Spring Boot. Uh, we need to put uh, choose JPA. JPA is for managing the databases. So choose JPA and uh, choose Web. So actually, this should be uh, Spring Web Starter. That is what you should choose. Um, so any other one that we need, we are going to figure it out as we go. So, um, OK, we need H2 database, but we will figure that out as we move. So I'm going to just say nice and say finish. So I'm going to kind of restore this so that I could see what we are doing at this point. So I'm going to shift these downwards. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come here. We are going to create our model. So let me start by creating the user. So let me just drop down here, SRC main. Uh, okay, relationship demo. All right, so go to SRC main Java and just come here. Let's create a user by saying new, new class. And this time we are going to create user, give it a name, user, not users, just call it user. Because that's, a, that's an entity representing a user. Um, we want to put it in models. So just give a name, the name of the package and this models package and say nice. All right, so this is it. So now let me try to see if I can make the text a little bigger, okay. So let's give it an ID. I'm going to say private integer ID, private, private string first name, private string last name. Now this is where it becomes interesting. Before we can add a location here, we need to have a location object, but let's see. So give it private string last name. Now we are going to say private location location. And finally private So these are the, now we don't have location already built. So uh, let's try to create location at this point. So let's go to, yeah, let's save this first. Then let's go here and just right click and say new class. 
and we are going to create location. So I'm going to say um, location uh, in models, and I'm going to say add. So now we have location, and now the error is gone. Uh, in location, we need ID and name. So I'm going to say private integer ID and private string name. That's location we created just now. And finally, let's create posts. So call it posts, not posts. So go to new class and then we call it name it should be post. Finish. We should have ID, post date, user, and detail. So I'm going to say ID, um, private integer ID, private local date find post date, private user, and private uh, uh, string. Private string details. Okay, so if you are following, that's fine. If you have challenges, leave a comment to let us know. Now, local date time should be in local date time. So just go import local date time the Java. All right. All right. So at this point, let's just add the. I'm going to expand this at this point. Let me just add the constructors as well as the getters and the setters. So let me start with user. I'm going to come here. I'm going to right click and go to source and go to generate constructor using fields. Yeah, generate constructor using fields. And I'm going to generate the getters and the setters as well. So go to source and say generate getters and setters. As you can see, uh, everything is need to be selected and say OK. All right, so I'm going to save and let me do the same thing for location. So the first one is to generate the constructor by going to source and going to generate constructor using field and say generate. And the next one is to generate the getters and the setters. So I'm going to just say right click and go to source and just say generate getters and setters as you can see right here. Select everything and say generate. Now that is for location we've done. And finally, we do the same thing for post. So I'm going to right click and choose source and choose generate constructor using fields and generate. And finally, I do generate, uh, I do generate uh, the getters and the setters, uh, select everything and generate. Now, it's necessary for you to add an empty constructor or a default constructor at this point. So at this point, I'm going to just go here and say public post. And that's all. This uh, default constructor is necessary to have it in your application. So I'm going to come here and say public, public location location. So the default constructor or no arguments uh, constructor is necessary. It's just a function with the name, the same name as a class. All right, so we built all the models now. What we are going to now do is to build the services. The service, uh, yeah, build the services, the controllers, and the repositories. Where do we start from? Let's start with the repositories, uh, maybe repository. So I'm going to say new. Now take note that the models is in the models package and now you need to put the repositories in the repositories package. So to create a repository, you have to create an interface. The repository is an interface, make no mistake about it. And it's going to inherit from, or it's going to implement, the implement or extend crowd repository. So choose an interface, and uh, repositories. So doing this, I'm trying to create a new package called repositories under the, the base package. So this is going to be, let's start with creating the user repository. All right, user repository. And it's going to extend the uh, crowd repository, crowd repository. Say OK and finish. 
And when you create the repository, you annotate it with the at repository annotation. And specify the class that this repository will be connecting to. So the class is to be the class will be um this point is gonna be user and the type of the primary key. The type for the primary key is integer at this point. Alright, so uh okay, finish. Yeah. Alright, so let's create the second repository. Let me just save. Okay, I create a second repository. This is going to be, oh no, no, it's gonna be an interface. So it's going to be location repository I'm going to create. So I'm going to call it location repo z3. All right, so I'm going to allow it to extend crowd repository and then I'm going to just finish. And then the class is going to be uh, accessing data from is the location class. And the primary key type is integer. Right, so control shift O on your keyboard. Control shift O, so it will import the necessary name namespaces. And finally, we want to create the next repository. That will be the post repository. So go to create an interface, and I'm going to call it post repo z3. Again, it's going to um, extend the crowd repository. Actually, crowd repository helps us to have uh, ready-made methods, uh, method that already has been implemented for us for assessing data, like read, uh, select, delete, update, and, and insert. So we don't have to write it for us. The crowd repository already have it uh, implemented. So here we have posts, and the primary key type is integer. All right. And also, don't forget to annotate with at repo z3 annotation. And I don't think, I think I should annotate this as well with at repository annotation. All right, so at this point, we are good to go. We have the three repositories created. And let's create the services. Remember, the model is, or the repository connects to the model, the service connects to the repository and the controller connects to the service. So that is the layered structure of uh, an enterprise application, of an MVC application. So let's create the services from the, I'm going to put it in a, in a package called services. Uh, services, yeah. Uh, the name should be, let's start with user service. User service, and simply annotate it with at service annotation so that is what you should do and create the next one uh, post service post service and annotate it with the app service annotation and finally we do for location location service and then we annotate it with the add service annotation as well. So after creating the services, what is left for us to do? We need to create the controller because we're actually building a REST API so that we can make requests, REST requests to this API and get data from this API. All right, but keep in mind, we are going to go through, actually this is the what we aim to cover all of this. So we're actually in part two right now setting up that is what we are trying to do at this point so let's now build our, our controllers so i'm going to come here and say new a new class and i'm going to say user controller okay i'm going to say finish annotate it with at rest controller annotation okay this is fine and hmm, it's supposed to be in the controller package. So I'll have to create the, now let's create the user controller and then we are going to put it in the controllers package. So I'm going to say dot controllers. So at this point, I'm creating a, a, a package called controllers and putting the, the controller location controller inside the new package I'm creating. So I'm going to say finish. 
Now this user controller you can see here. I'm going to drag it inside the um, inside the controllers inside the controllers package. That is what I'm going to do. And finally, I'm going to create the host controller. So I'm going to say file new new class, and I'm going to say post controller. Uh, perfect. So at this point, we have all our site, all our everything has been set up. The classes, the models, the services, the repositories, and the controllers. I think I forget to annotate this with a controller annotation. At rest controller annotation. Okay. All right. So location controller. I annotate it with at rest controller annotation as well. And okay. So I think everything is okay. I've checked the services. Well annotated. So we've set up everything we need. The next thing we want to do now, we need to set up the H2 database because we need to store data in the H2 database. And that's what we'll do in the next lesson. That will be part three. Again, look at, we completed part two, uh, setting up, I would like to show you. And the next thing, part three, setting up, H, configuring H2 database. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Move on to part three and remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment if you have some recommendations.